Welcome to another episode of A Moment of Tiki coming at you from the Lagoon of Mystery, my home tiki bar here in Central Texas. Today I'm kind of in a rush because we're supposed to be getting a front blowing through here in the next couple of hours with a lot of wind and rain, so don't want to be caught outside even in the sheltered Lagoon of Mystery. But what I want to do today is make the classic tiki cocktail Navy Grog. Now, as many of you know, Navy Grog was Frank Sinatra's favorite cocktail. So if you want to cue up old blue eyes and play along at home, by all means, let's go. Now, the Navy Grog is on the surface, a really simple, straightforward cocktail. So you can make one up, no problem. But if you want to be completely authentic, then it gets a little bit more involved. So let's start off with the garnish. <clears throat> garnish is tricky. Traditionally, the garnish for a navy grog is an ice cone. Now you're thinking, what the heck is an ice cone? Ice cone is, well, what we're going to make now. I got this kit from Beach Bum Berry. It is a stainless steel cone right here that we're going to fill with shaved ice. Crushed ice is um, not fine enough, so if you don't have an ice shaver at home, then don't worry because I'm going to show you how to do a workaround. First, you need your blender. Hopefully, you have a blender. Uh, food processors also work. And to speed the process along, crushed ice. couple of scoops should be more than enough for an ice cone. You're going to close this up in here and the ice crush button. I got stirred a little bit. Good. So, I'm going to use my bar spoon here. Turn it upside down, and what we're going to do is scoop out this kind of snowflake ice and get it in there. Up oh, there's a <clears throat> okay, once we have the cone packed in here, we're going to take this metal rod and jam it in through the center. What this is doing is creating a hole for the straw. So this goes all the way through and you're going to wiggle it around to force space for your straw in the Navy Grog. Now, we're going to take this proto cone and we're going to put it in the freezer so it really solidifies. Be right back. While the ice cone, which is currently chilling in the deep freeze, is the most visually important element of the Navy Grog, the most important element flavor wise is the grapefruit. Now, Navy Grog calls for three quarter ounces of grapefruit juice. This is the grapefruit juice you want. If you are in Texas like I am, everything is ruby red grapefruit juice. The Rio Grande Valley produces a ton of grapefruit juice every year and it's all ruby red or variations upon that. When the Navy Grog recipe was first created, however, 30s, 40s, 50s, 
The dominant grapefruit at the time was white grapefruit, which has a tartar, more robust flavor. So all the recipes are formulated for white grape juice, uh, white grapefruit juice. Unfortunately, because ruby red is sweeter, red pink grapefruit juice is sweeter, it became rapidly more popular and now is the dominant commercial grapefruit. So it is well nigh impossible to find white grapefruit unless you live in certain areas of California where they grow it. So what we're going to do here now is juice our white grapefruit. As you can see, the interior is white, not pink. And there are white grapefruit juices that are bottled and canned. And this is always an option. But as with most juices, the canned stuff loses a lot of that robust, fresh flavor and is not ideal. Likewise, you can always make a Navy Grog using ruby red grapefruit juice. But again, that's going to be sweeter um, and not quite capturing the original flavor that Don Beach intended when he designed the recipe. Fortunately, a local supermarket chain, HEB, here in Texas, gets white grapefruit juice in every so often, mostly during the winter months. So I was able to stock up and shall not want for white grapefruit juice for the near future. Now, if you don't have regular access to white grapefruit or white grapefruit juice that is fresh, but happen to luck into some at a local supermarket, farmer's market or something like that, and want to preserve it for when you will need it for your various cocktails, here's something you can do. Get a regular ice tray, I've measured this out, and each ice cube tray, each cube is approximately one ounce. Fill the tray with your fresh squeezed white grapefruit juice and freeze it. Once it is completely frozen, you can take it out and individually wrap them. When it comes time to make your cocktails, just bring out, break out the individually wrapped juice cubes and you're good to go. One ounce cubes thaw fairly quickly and you can make, measure out and make your Navy Grogs or your Undead Gentlemen's or any other type of cocktail that you could need. And there you have it. Juice preserved for future use. Okay, we just had a pretty big rain shower blow through here and I had to move the camera and everything because it's right outside the protected area of the lagoon. So if the framing seems a little wonky, that's why. Uh, and if this is the first of uh, the rain bands that are coming through, our time may be limited. So let's get to it. We have the white grapefruit juice. Now we are going to begin to build the Navy Grog proper. Okay. The recipe calls for three quarter ounce lime juice.
three quarter ounce white grapefruit juice. Then we need one ounce of Demerara rum. I'm using El Dorado 8, but El Dorado 5 is an excellent alternative. As is Ed Hamilton's Demerara offering. And one ounce light rum. I have Don Q Cristal. White rum out of Puerto Rico. One ounce dark Jamaican rum, in which instance I am using Ed Hamilton's Jamaican Pot Still Black, which packs a magnificent hogo punch, very funky, a lot of banana esters. This is one of my go-to rums when a dark Jamaican is called for. And you know what? I skipped a step. Uh, usually you go with the least expensive ingredients first if you're a professional bartender, which means that the alcohol comes last, but I forgot honey mix. You do one ounce of honey mix. Since honey itself does not dissolve well in cold cocktails, you want to make a mix a syrup with it, a uh, one-to-one -one honey to water ratio. Once that's fully blended and immersed, it works very well as a syrup in cocktails. And there's one more ingredient, but we're gonna hold off for just a minute and I'll tell you why. So we're going to add the ice. Good, close this up, and we're going to shake. Again, shaking doesn't just mix the ingredients, it also causes the dilution of the cocktail as the alcohol interacts with the ice, it melts the ice. The final ingredient is club soda. You want your club soda to be as cold as possible because that concentrates the carbonation. We're doing three quarter ounces club soda, putting it in my double old fashioned glass. Uh, some of you may recognize this as the official Texas Tiki Week Mai Tai glass from this past year. Well, previous year as it did not happen this year. Now I'm going to strain. And give it a little stir to make sure the club soda is fully integrated. And now for our garnish. And the straw. And there you have it. Classic Navy Grog. Oh yeah, nice and tart. A lot of different layers of rum flavors interplaying. It's easy to see why this is so popular. Mm. Until next time from the Laguna Mystery, Aloha. Mm.